Hi guys, VST here, Venice Tech, and I'm gonna show something very cool today, guys. I'm gonna show you something very cool. So if you wanna have your tiles like this, right? Just take a look, right? If you wanna be able to change them the way you want, you know, using different templates on the fly with just one click, then this video is for you. If you don't wanna do this, then feel free to just go here and close the video. But if you wanna do this, then just stick around and see how we're gonna do this. All right, let's start. Guys, I have found out this app called One Shade Custom Notification and Quick Settings, and it allows you to do these changes on the quick tiles. You know, actually, it's a great app. So let me try to install it. It's created by some guys. Let's press open Trade F Inc. Let's press open and welcome to the One Shade app. Now, for you to get the app working, you need to apply several permissions. So first one is right settings. So we click on the right settings. We just allow modification. Then very important guys, just go back with swiping, all right? Then choose accessibility. Okay, go here, use service, press allow, and use your finger to go back again, left. Then notifications, again, it will just show you where. Then press here, press allow, go back. If you have a dual SIM and you wanna use this, then you need to grant another permission, which I do, then yes, agree. And you're pretty much set, guys. And let me show you. So here you have layout, heads up, edge trigger, colors, and extras. Let's play with the layout. So let's choose layout, guys. Here we have quick settings, icon shape. So right now, of course, I'm using the circle ones, which is pretty much the standard, but let me show you this one, circle hollow. You see, it kind of puts different color, which pretty much I like. Or if you can use the rectangle ones, again, they look very, very fancy. And everything happens very quick, guys, very quickly. Now let's go to hexagon, which again, are like very weird, I would guess, right? And guys, see here where I have the clock on the center, then you have a settings where you can press the clock. So if you put the big clock position to the left, then you're gonna see that the clock position is moving to the left, all right? The small corners, the center notification actions and the enable notification sections are not so relevant. But see here, guys, we have brightness slider in the header. If I remove this setting, okay, if I go like this, I don't have any brightness slider. But if I enable the setting, guys, look what happens here. When I scroll down like this, I'm having the brightness slider. It's very, very handy, specifically when you're using, you know, your phone, it's dark, and you know that there is a problem still with Android 10 and with the brightness. Okay, let's see the other settings that we have here. Layout, okay. Layout, I think we covered everything until here. Then we have grid columns, set the number of columns. If we press here, of course, this requires an upgrade, so I cannot show it right now to you. But apparently, guys, you are able to modify grid columns, grid rows, number of header tiles, and max group notifications. All of these features here require paid access, okay? I'm using right now just the free version of the application, but if you wanna go pro, then you need to buy it. And it's not very expensive, guys. You can get it like for two euro, which I think pretty much well deserved. All right, so use heads up style pop notification at the top of the screen okay this is pretty much the idea when somebody you know somebody is chatting with you on facebook messenger then you have this heads up uh, for me that's quite annoying so i don't really like this but you can apparently tweak the settings as well okay then you have the edge trigger use trigger as a, a side handle to pull down the shade from anywhere on the screen and let's try to test this i mean this sounds interesting so let's try to do it like this this is something guys i've seen only on the one ui2 you know, Samsung, One UI 1 and One UI 2. This is the kind of like the graphic user interface or the uh, operating system from the Samsung phones. Aha, here. Now, you see what happens? But you know, this is not very convenient, you know, if you have a phone with curved screen because apparently I'm just triggering now a gesture. So I'm, I'm not sure how much handy is this. No, again, it's not very accessible. But you see what I mean with that one. Then we have colors, okay? We have colors here. And what happens when we press colors? Custom background image. So apparently you're also able to change the background image, you know, besides here, the icons. But we can, I cannot do this, of course, I don't have the pro version, but you can change the background color. So let's go for something like this. And boom, you see, very easily. Now just done in one second, okay. Active tile color. Now I have all my active tiles with blue, but I can, let's say, go for green. Let's go for the green side of things. 
come on okay something like that now you see all my active tiles now are with green okay so if i activate a tile then it becomes green nice okay let's see what we have here notification background color that's very fancy right now the standard stock team is black but let's turn it to let's say blue okay you see i mean you can really turn the whole interface around with this application apparently all right let's see let's go back and see what more colors do we have brightness slider color so you can even change the brightness slider color and that's crazy let's try to do this guys you are, you see here it really works now it's uh, it's orange okay uh, all right dim behind color uh, of course there are more settings but again they require the pro access then we have dynamic color notification colorize all notification backgrounds with their respective color which pretty much means that if you're gonna get let's say a telegram notification it can run with its own color different from let's say the facebook messenger this is also very nice the one and last thing here is called the extras and inside the extras apparently you can save your profile restore your profile and you pretty much see you know what i mean override the wallpaper override finger fingers gestures for screen brightness removing full screen there are a lot of a lot of actors guys i really do recommend this app if you want to play you know with your tiles and if you want to end up with having something like this fully customized then maybe this app is for you VST here guys, I really hope that you liked this video, if that's the case then don't forget, you know, we know what to do and yeah, thank you for watching, VST over and bye!